I just have to warn you guys, TMI is about to happen right here. Over Labor Day weekend, an active volcano made its home in my throat and chest, just FYI. I had a wicked case of acid reflux, and I'm pretty sure that my life was about to be over. My cousin Sammy said, I want you to try some Pepto-Bismol, but warned me that the last time she tried it, her tongue turned black. Then she said something about there being a genetic contributor to whether or not your tongue turned black, and I was like, I need to try this out. So I pulled my dad into it, we did it again, and that is the story I'm bringing for you today. We have two choices here. We can do Pepto-Bismol tablets, or dad has the liquid version. News flash to me, it was his favorite thing to drink growing up. Delicious. Mm. It actually makes me kind of want to gag. My mom is here. She just doesn't want to be in the video. Hey, mom. Hi. Choo, choo, choo. Drink up. Chin, chin. I'm still feeling a little gross in there. We're going to let it marinate, go to sleep. When we wake up, we'll show you the results. And when I woke up in the morning, I ran over to the bedroom to get him. And this is what we did. Three, two, one. I love that you did a count. I wanted a reveal. I wanted a drum roll. No, my dog was sitting in the back like, what? Anywho, so I knew that two people is not enough for a sample size, so I decided to head over to Dr. Simone's office to figure out what makes our tongues black. Anytime you have sulfur in the GI tract, however amount, if it's a large amount of sulfur that particular minute of the day, yes. you'll have a blacker tongue. Some people have more sulfur. Some people have less. That decides how dark your tongue gets. What would you recommend? Well, anything with calcium carbonate, like Mylanta, Maalox, any of the over-the-counter antacid tongues. Okay. These are all calcium carbonate bases that don't have that reaction at all and still give you the anti-acid effect. And at one point he said something about breathing differently and I was like, hold on a second. Really? So what basically guys, we're screwed. What do you mean breathing differently? That when you breathe in too much air or you take in too much water, it just irritates really? your esophagus. What did you eat that gave you the problem in the first know. place? I was, don't know. I was drinking a little bit too much. Hey. 